North Korea has expelled a U.S. soldier who sprinted across the border into the country from the south. Travis King was transferred to U.S. custody in China and is said to be heading home. He'd been held in North Korea since July. Back then, Pyongyang said that King defected after suffering, quote, maltreatment and racial discrimination in the U.S. Army. His fate upon his return to the U.S. is uncertain after having been declared able or absent without leave by the U.S. military. Uh, for more, we can now speak to our correspondent in Washington, Janelle de Milan. Janelle, what details uh, has the U.S. administration provided so far on the case? Well, we know that this release happened overnight. We've been told that Travis King is in good health and in good spirits. And earlier, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan released a statement thanking the Swedish and Chinese governments for their role in helping to secure Travis King's release. Now, we don't know who did what exactly, but we know that Sweden would have played a major role because traditionally, the Swedish embassy in Pyongyang has negotiated on behalf of the U.S. Because the U.S. and North Korea don't have diplomatic relations, there is no U.S. embassy in Pyongyang. And China, of course, for its part, shares a land border and close ties with North Korea. That is where Travis King was released and where U.S. officials were waiting for him. He is reportedly now going to be taken to a medical facility in Fort Sam Houston in Texas. We also heard earlier from his mother, who said, who thanked the army for their hard work in getting Travis King back and asked that the family's privacy be respected at this time and that she's not going to be giving any interviews for the foreseeable future. So what's uh, expected, uh, ex except the medical treatment uh, uh, that he uh, will get, what's expected uh, to happen to Travis King next? Well, that part, Gerhard, really is unclear. Now, if you remember a little bit about his story, we know that he was serving with his unit in South Korea. Then he spent two months in detention on assault charges. He was released on July 10. A week later, he was supposed to go back to the U.S. Uh, to face disciplinary proceedings, but he managed to evade his guards, and instead of boarding the plane to the U.S., he went on a tour to the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Korea, uh, the DMZ as you call it. And then, uh, and then he crossed into North Korea. Now he has been since declared absent without leave from the US military and that means that he could face a further punishment. He could face dishonorable discharge. He could face the forfeiture of his pay. He could face even more mili military jail time in the US. And whether he's going to be punished separately for that action, for having crossed into North Korea, well that remains unclear as well. Any indication why his release happens now? You know, that was somewhat surprising. There was a lot of speculation that he would be held a lot longer, that he would be used as a bargaining chip as relations between Washington and Pyongyang deteriorate over North Korea's accelerating nuclear program, over the U.S.'s joint exercises with South Korea. But uh, joint military exercises with South Korea, that is. But there is also uh, this uh, reading that because Travis King wasn't uh, a high-value intelligence asset, that the North Koreans probably decided that he wasn't worth the expense and the trouble of keeping. He needed food, accommodation, guards, and translators. But of course, there has also been some speculation that perhaps there were concessions made on the part of the U.S. in order to secure Travis King's release. But this is something that U.S. officials have denied strongly. They have said zero concessions were made in order to get Travis King back. VW correspondent Janelle de Milan there reporting from Washington. Thank you, Janelle.